about six years ago, I was at what I think was my lowest point. I was feeling lost and empty. I was miserable, stressed and depressed. In fact, I was quite exhausted of life and its challenges. In that moment, I suddenly had the thought to pray. I said to myself, I had nothing to lose. So all I did was start to talk to God. Um, I told him how I had felt and what was troubling me and that I needed some sort of strength to be able to push through. I was still skeptical and I had very little faith. I wondered if he'd hear me. But the very next day, I woke up with this unexplainable feeling of peace. I can't really describe it, but it was very overwhelming. My reception, my understanding of the word just shifted. It felt like I was reading with expectation to get to know Jesus, not just of him. The more I read, the more I wanted to read, and the more I just wanted to be close to him. It just felt wholesome and peaceful. Jesus has truly done wonders in my life. I wake up every day and I thank him for the endless blessings I have. I make a point to spend time with him where I not only talk to him, but also wait and listen. Of course, I have days when it's hard and it's, I don't feel like I want to, but I hold on to the written promise that he will bring me out from under my burdens. I know what life was like without him. And because of that, I know that I can't live without him. He truly saved me. And I would like to spend the rest of my life giving thanks and glory. I've been coming to New Community for 12 years now and in those years I've learned the foundations of what it means to be a follower of Christ. I was very privileged to have grown up in a Christian home but when I was younger I didn't really realise that there would be days where I'd drag my feet not wanting to come into church but that will change when I start going to New Day and if you don't know what New Day is it's this event where teenagers go to experience the presence of God. Um, last year we were in the Big Top which is a big tent where we go and worship and I just decided to close my eyes and put my hands up because I wanted to feel the presence of God and in that moment I felt this calming breeze and I knew it was the Holy Spirit and from then on I just knew that if I wanted to be saved I'd have to give my life to Jesus so that's why I'm up here today and I've been scared to get baptized simply because of this speech but here I am. <laughs> Amen. Amen.